Do you want to know how I grew 30 tomatoes in 30 square feet and ended up with over 800 tomatoes in two years? Stick around. So a couple of months ago, I put out a request in our private Facebook group. And if you're not a part of that and you're on Facebook, I'll put a link down below so you can join. Um, I was asking who has built my trellis and if they could share the pictures with me. And I got so many responses and it was so cool to see so many of my trellises standing all over the world. I'm gonna show a bunch more at the very end of the video because there's some ways that uh, lost some exact replicas of my trellis and then some people who actually improved on them. But I realized I have never really gone through step by step how I built my trellis because when I started this channel, I already had the trellis pretty much made. So I kind of alluded to the directions on how it was made, but today I'm gonna walk you through step by step exactly how it works. And I'm actually not in my garden, as you can tell, I am at my mom's house because last year, we planted some tomatoes against this fence. And if you remember, because I showed them, they went crazy. They went all over the ground. And this is only like a foot and a half deep planting area. And they were probably four feet out into the patio area. Now with those huge plants, she didn't get a lot of tomatoes. Now I've talked about this, the big video that probably three quarters of you came to this channel because of, uh, it was titled how to grow Tomatoes, not leaves. You'd think I'd remember that title, but uh, because that's what most people have is a bunch of leaves and no tomatoes. Not after I show you how to do this trellis because this trellis is gonna take your tomatoes off the ground. It's gonna organize everything and give them the ability to produce a ton of tomatoes in a tiny amount of space. Now the materials for this project could not be any simpler. Really, this space, like I said, is about a foot and a half wide and it's gonna be an eight foot long trellis, which is gonna give us about, um, because we can only plant one row of tomatoes here, it's gonna give us room for eight tomato plants. Now I'm going to also tell you if you have, I have the same trellis and you can just retrofit it slightly and you can do three rows of tomatoes with only a couple dollars more of wood. And I'll show you that in just a second, but the, the materials for both trellises are three, and you can use two by fours. These are one and a half by two, I think. One and a half by two, and they're eight foot long. So I have three of these. One on each side for the uprights, and then one to grow, go across the top. So the first thing I did was, since they're eight feet tall, I wanted them to be about six feet out of the ground. So I buried two feet in a hole on either end and filled it back in. Now, if you're wanting something more permanent, you can put some cement in the hole. That's totally fine. I just put dirt around them. So both of them are in the ground. They're nice and sturdy. And the next two materials that we need other than a drill or a, a screw gun are some screws. These happen to be two and a half inch um, coated deck screws and some eye bolts. I'll show you what these are for in just a minute. All right, so I'm gonna bring Noah in to help me. He's gonna help me hold the wood up at the top while I put the screws in. Hey, everyone. Uh, right, all right, got it. Okay, it's that easy. Yep. Three pieces of wood. Now we're gonna get to the hard part. Ah! So this is for one row of tomatoes. That's all we can fit in a oh, foot and a half space. Now at home, I have three rows of tomatoes. And so every foot along the top, I have uh, a furring strip. Actually, if I had to do it over again, I've seen a lot of you use a one by one and you're gonna make them about 24 inches long so that you'll have a tomato growing on the end, one in the middle, and then one on the other end. And they'll go straight across. For this one though, we're doing one line. So what you're gonna do is get these, the eye hooks, or eye bolts, or eye screws, I don't know what you call them, but we're gonna put one underneath on each end, and then one every foot along the whole length. Okay, 
it's actually an eight foot board, we get nine plants. So we'll have nine tomatoes growing here. Now again, if you do the cross pieces for two or three rows, you'd put one of these little eye bolts or eye screws on the end of each one of those as well. Now tomorrow is pretty much part two of this video because tomorrow I'm gonna to show you how exactly to use this trellis to trellis and to prune your tomatoes because all those things you need together to make this possible. Now I wanted to break it up because tomorrow I'm gonna to go into more depth on exactly how I grow my tomatoes like this, more than I've ever done before. I've kind of before showed you after the fact, after they were already growing the way they're supposed to grow and everyone was kind of confused by that. So tomorrow I've got a really special way, if it works, to show you actually growing tomatoes in real time. If you guys learned something from this video, please hit the like button. It supports us a lot. And follow my dad on Instagram would be right up there. And then follow me on Instagram. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Go back. Follow my dad on Instagram would be right up there. And we'll see you next time. Bye.